giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archive first robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun at loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome uh, to the Beantown Blitz Fantasy Auction Draft here on First Updates Now. Uh, we have uh, six fantasy teams that are here today. They're going to be uh, picking essentially the prices for you, so you can uh, participate in our pick em draft, but we love to air this live, uh, talk about where teams are valued, uh, see where some of our uh, quote-unquote expert uh, draft teams are. Uh, are going for that. Uh, if you're not too familiar with this, uh, by the way, uh, what is going to happen is that every team has $200 uh, to essentially pick uh, their own uh, set of teams. I shouldn't say alliance because you can really pick as many teams as you got money for. So if you're familiar with uh, uh, fancy football auction drafts, anything like that, very similar to what something like this is. Uh, and then afterwards, we'll have a, a time or an opportunity for you once again to do a pick them uh, as well. So let's say uh, uh, 1761 goes for you know $32, then you'll have an opportunity to draft your own team and optionally pick them for $32 as well. So, you know, it's like that, you know, gambling side, except we don't promote gambling here on fun, right? So, you know, that's kind of the way it is. Uh, hey, we do have an awesome uh, expert here for Beantown Blitz. Uh, Brando, Brandon Holly from 125 uh, has joined us in Neutrons. Talk a bit more about these teams. Brando, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Excited to uh, see what this is all about. Yeah, and, and for those who don't know, uh, Brando is very ingrained uh, with Beantown Blitz. You might tell us a little about uh, what you do for Beantown. Are, are you coordinating all of it? Kind of what's that background for that? Yeah, we're, um, you know, Beantown actually was how how 125 got really tied into hosting a district event every year. Um, so we started hosting the district event in 2014, and Beantown Blitz started in 2004. Sure. Um we, you know, it's had a couple owners over the years. Um, I wasn't with the Neutrons in 2004. I joined the team in 2005. Um, but since then, we've had a couple different people, uh, you know, kind of pass the baton and, and run the event. Um, it takes a, you know, group effort, the entire Neutrons family from students to, uh, to our mentors, to our parents, uh, the schools, and all those people all get really involved and uh, make it happen. So, uh we have a good time you know our, our main mission is basically to just have a really fun uh off season competitive off season and uh you know we, we try to keep it as relaxed as we possibly can that's kind of uh, the 125 motto very cool are there any uh modifications for beantown blitz or is it a pretty straight up event how it is it's pretty straight up um we you know for a long time we used to add a uh a golden element game piece as kind of just a fun thing to change up sure um it was it's something that we you know we've talked about doing and bringing back. The, the complication is always in the FMS side of things. We don't want to make it a burden for the refs and the scorekeepers to have to like manually modify a score each each match and all that stuff. So that's why we stopped doing that. But uh, this year is just very kind of basic rule uh, rule changes. We got rid of our six um, completely, and um, and I think that's it. Um, yeah. So yeah, that pretty answers uh, back a boy's question, by the way. So hopefully back a boy that answer your question in chat. Um, very cool. So we're looking uh, forward to uh, going through this. Brando's going to be providing us with some uh, additional insight to these teams instead of, you know, just Tyler going on blue lines and just reading stuff off. So hopefully provide a little bit more context uh, for you uh, watching. And those in the chat, by the way, uh, feel free to freely critique our uh, draft teams here. Our, did they overbid? Did they underbid? What was good value? What was not? We'd love to hear that in chat on how you feel. Uh, these teams will be random, by the way. Um, and speaking of which, before we introduce our teams, I do want to mention uh, <laughs> that there is a uh, apparently a mystery uh, team uh, that is uh, going to potentially be at Beantown Blitz. Vando, anything to add on to that? You know, I wish I wish I could, but um, All right. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it a mystery. 
All right, fair enough. So, um, so our uh, our drafters, our fancy draft teams. Uh, for those who responded back, uh, we are going to do uh, this team as a draft. They may or not, may or may or not be appearing. You and chat can uh, to try to decide who you think that is, and we're not going to confirm or deny either way. Uh, might be shown at the Beantown Blitz. So it'll be interesting to see uh, because if they don't show up, you get zero points. So it'll be interesting to see uh, when they uh, come up and if the bid is going to happen for them. Uh, so as we go through, spoiler alert right there, uh, we're going to introduce our uh, six teams who are joining us. So if you don't mind, uh, we'll introduce you. If the captain, uh, if you have multiple people and have the captain, just speak first, say who you are, uh, and then whoever else is joining you as well. So we're going to start uh, with our attorney champions from the Chessie Champs draft. We have Team Lath is studying. What's up, guys? Uh, this is Haley. I'm from Team 78 Airstrike. With me tonight, I have Danny from 2491. Jeff from 1817, Lathe from 1519, aka the beautiful artist behind the team name Lathe is studying, along with Alaron from Team 181, Birds of Prey. Awesome, awesome. And next we have, uh, is it Wyan or Wien and the Silver Medalist? It's uh, it's Wyan. Wyan, all right. Um, yeah, I'm Ryan. I'm a 422 alum, and uh, I got my boy Eric. It's a 2175 alum, and uh, we're here to take that second place. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you know, it's only six, so better better odds this time. Uh, Poofy Jacket Gang is a uh, new team joining us today. How's it going, guys? Hey, um, I'm Emiliano. I'm on Team 254. The people helping me out is Alex, Chris, Leo, Paige, and Trevor from different teams all over the U.S. All right, with that many, we, we expect big results from you. So, uh, Bean Griffin, Evan, how's it going, buddy? All right. <laughs> <laughs> sure we'll uh, pretend that he uh he chimed in there so that was interesting uh surfs up connor playing in the draft for the first time what's up rotato chips this is connor mcbride from team 166 and president and ceo of team surfs up of uh, first fantasy draft and catathon i'm also a northeast region recap here on fun is surfs up a sole proprietorship connor or are there others with you uh, it's just myself, and uh, Surf's Up has nothing to do with the movie with penguins. Just want to make that clear. There's a movie with penguins? Okay. Uh, yeah. Running us up is uh, the Dream Team. Hey, guys. Eric Klein from Team 2412. The Robotope is up in the PNW, and I also got help from Team 5943. All right. Very cool. So uh, as we go in here, we're going we're gonna to jump right into it and talk about our teams and, and get him in. Uh, once again, the order is random. Uh, teams will have, there's a 10 second timer. Uh, and then uh, every time that they bid, it will reset. Uh, so teams will ask, don't wait till there's like 0.5 seconds left to rebid. None of that suspense is fun. Uh, we want to make sure the drafts uh, keep going and we have plenty of time to talk about things. But we are going to jump right into our draft here. Uh, and Brando, if you don't mind, uh, I'm going to put you on the spot for some of these, and especially for pronouncing city names, because I don't want to butcher those too bad. Uh, <laughs> and so our first uh, team uh, coming up on the gate is going to be team number 4048, 4048 Redshift. Uh, yeah, Red, Redshift. Um, they're a team, you know, I guess we'll see where, where our numbers come in. Um, they're a team that uh, is always in the mix. And, um, and this year in particular, uh, I think they had some close uh, performances. So I, I'm looking at these numbers as they're coming in. Um, are these the dollar amounts? That these is the dollar amounts. We're up to 23 right now for Wien and the silver medalists. Yeah. So, you know, I think 23 could actually be a pretty good value for these guys. Um, they're, they're also going to be helping us out as kind of a, a co-host for the event too. So um, I'm interested to see how, how that goes. 23 could be kind of a steal there. Yeah. 23 is early. It's early in the draft. Lots to come. Uh, but 23 bucks is what takes the uh, first one. Sorry, Brandon, I forgot to send you that ahead of time. So hopefully you oh, see it's all good. Now. Yeah, so you have the draft order now. So uh, so uh, next team coming up, uh, we'll, we're just going to keep moving on here as we, uh, we'll we talk about some teams as they come through. But our next team coming up is team number 181, Birds of Prey. I got this one, Hartford, Connecticut. There you go. That, that nailed it. Yes. 181, 81, 81, as, uh, yeah. as their team chant goes. Anyone in New England uh, has heard that. Um, 181 had a pretty good year. You know, I think uh, one thing to you got to think about with them is they always play hard. Um, they were doing a, a lot of climbing. You know, they had a good performance at uh, DCMP. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, they're, they're a competitive robot. 
um, I could definitely see them, you know, being one of those teams that gets gets to the finals is is part of a finals alliance. So, and up to thirty dollars right now. Uh, so this team thirty one thirty and one on uh, official play uh, this year. As you mentioned, did make it to the district championships, not at the uh, uh, first championship. So, but yeah. it looks like Brando thirty one dollars going to be the uh, value. How are you feeling about thirty one there? They're a um, they're really good uh, ball specialist. Um, you know, so if you can get hatches on there, um, they will they'll put some points up. Plus the climb, so no doubt. Uh, so I think it's uh, time to bust out our checkbooks uh, right away here. I, I know, you know, does anybody know what a checkbook is anymore? I just dated myself way too much here. So, uh, I need so, to order one of those, actually. What's your Venmo accounts? I actually need to order one of those. Yes. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, okay, bust, uh, uh, send me your Venmo numbers or send me money. One of the, I don't even know. What is Venmo? Venmo so, uh, yeah, so uh, yes. next team coming up here has uh, six blue banners this year, two of them for chairmans. Four of them for winners is team number 195, the Cyber Knights. What a great team, man. Oh, man. This, is, this team probably doesn't need a ton of introduction as far as their performance goes. I mean, I think if you you know you talk to the 195ers, um, the word team, their team were super close with, um, you know they they felt like they maybe let one slip this year at champs. You know that they, they felt like getting to Einstein with the alliance they had mm -hmm. that they had a really good chance at it. Um, I, I mean I fully I fully expect them to um, to be in the finals uh, one way or the other, um, and it, them not winning I think would would be a bit of a surprise to a lot of folks. So. This robot is just so good. I mean, just just looking at their, you know, they took a lot of flack during the season. I think for uh, getting just picked early, and I and it looks like they just sold for eighty five dollars. But uh, a team that uh, you know, when we did the FRC top twenty five, people like, why are they ranked so high? That sort of thing. And I think they uh, proved a lot at, at championships. I think definitely. I mean, that upset against twenty fifty six eleven fourteen. Holy crap, man! That was well yep. worth the uh, forty five minute wait to have a boom lift come in. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah that was funny. Um, yeah, 195, I think they're, um, you know, I, I think some of the criticism early on was fair, um, but by the end of the year, I mean, we were certainly, you know, scared to face them at DCMP if it came to that. And, uh, and then clearly at champs, they were, uh, they were finally hitting uh, at the level that they would kind of expect to. So 80, what did it go for? 80 something? Uh, um, yeah, I forget what it was. Who just bought them? It was 85. 85 for yeah. Poofy Jack. I don't, I don't know, you know, this is my first time going through this type of draft, but for a team that, that's a lock, 85 feels, you know, maybe a bit light, you know, I maybe would have gotten triple digits on them. We'll see. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a lot of budget to spend though, when there's still, you know, I mean, there's only 26 teams, so there's still plenty to go around for this. So chat, let us know. Do you think 85 was too high, too low, just right? Uh, let us know uh, where they are and we'll read that off for you. Uh, we're going to keep moving on to our next team. Uh, Coming in from North Dartmouth, or is it Dartmouth? Dartmouth, I'm guessing. Right? Dartmouth, you got it. All right. Um, do you know what team that is? Just by, well, I, crap, I sent you the list. You can't cheat, so never mind. 58 <laughs> well, we, we do know this team, the, the, the Corsairs. This, this is one of the teams that uh, we've been really, really tight with um, since they started. And uh, I encourage anyone who hasn't heard of 5846 to go look up their Blue Lions right now and – check out the type of run they've had as you know since their inception um they're perennially uh in a limbs at dcmp uh they're perennially at first championship uh they've really found a, a solid niche for themselves um they build simple robots uh strong drive trains uh well driven uh you know they, they end up usually being a really solid defense uh bot or a specialist type bot and uh and they're basically on every uh, top teams alliance or uh, selection alliance list um, because they're such a great fit to an alliance every year. So um, currently our low uh, amount right now at $14 is what they went for. I think that's uh, really for any team. I think it's pretty good value. Uh, with the small amount of teams we have in this draft. And I, and Brandon, uh, they kind of uh, backtrack, and then when you, you look at like 85 for Cyber Knights versus 14 for Southeast South Coast Corsairs, I mean, yep. you're getting what, like six of 5846s for the value true. of 195? So uh, it's an interesting strategy to, to see how that plays out. Uh, but yeah, that is sure. the second team uh, there for uh, uh, Wyan and the Silver Medalists. All right, next team uh, coming up on here is a, a team I've had actually a little bit of history with back uh, when I was a senior there, actually on our line. So it's kind of cool to still see them around as team number 157, Aztecs. Yeah, 157. Um, 
recently, uh, somewhat recently, an original and sustaining team, uh, they went back in their archives, realized that they uh, they actually had been a team from the get go. So that was kind of interesting a couple oh, really? years ago. Um, they they were a really good robot this year. Um, their climb, they do a, a pretty funky little um, up to level two and then a level three uh, right after that. It right. was super consistent all year. Like um, I don't know if we had a chance to play with them. Um, but we did play with them at an event uh, a couple times. I don't know if we had any matches together, but we were fully ready to let them take the climb and, and just keep scoring because we were so confident that that, that climb was going to work match after match. Um, so good robot. Uh, they they dropped you know, some cargo in too. Uh, 22 is pretty good value. I, I yeah. fully expect yeah. them with, with the climb uh, consistency to be you know up in that top half of the rankings. So... Uh, a couple things from chat, by the way, uh, asking mystery. What if the mystery team was two seven six seven? I don't know, maybe or two fifty four. I mean, we do have somebody from two fifty four in the draft, so I think they'd know if that was the case. But hey, <laughs> never know, right? So, um, very interesting. Uh, comment from before in regards to the one ninety five says one twenty five uh, greater than one ninety five. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see. Oh, wow. I don't know, Brandon. How do you feel about that? What's your gut check on that? You know, um, this year I thought we were better than them, but. Um... You know, I'm happy to say that because of how close we are with with 195. Last year, they wiped the floor with almost everyone, um, and in 2017, we were some of the most evenly matched robots I think of the year, and we played each other head to head in really competitive matches. Um, so, uh, I think we we get the nod this year, but. Um, you know, we'll yeah. see. The, the fight continues. And speaking of which, 190 is our next team. Immediately, $37 is the initial bid. So we're going to see um, some pretty big numbers out of 190 here, who is 45, 27, and 0, Brando. Yeah, 190, uh, 190 was uh, was awesome this year. And it was great to see them kind of come back to life. Um, they, again, super consistent uh, climber. So they were consistently you know, at the top of the ranks. Um, but they also were doing a lot. I mean, they, they can mix it up and be a part of any alliance as a, uh, you know, taking a rocket for themselves or, or a cargo ship for themselves. We played them in the finals at um, uh, Central, I forget what, what competition, but one of the competitions we went to. Sure. And um, Central Mass, I think. Central Mass sounds right. Yep. Um, and they were just a great robot. They, uh, they really kept it simple and and performed this year. So, what did they go for? Thirty something. Oh man, I always click on these. I don't look. I'm sure somebody who just drafted can tell us. Uh, yeah, th that seems seven. like a pretty good value. What what was the amount? They went for forty seven. Forty seven. Forty seven. Oh, okay, forty seven. Yeah. yeah, I mean that that's respect. I think that's uh, <laughs> the respect they deserve from this season. No doubt. Uh, Necro creatures is in chat that they're good, but I think forty seven is a little much. Uh, so interesting on that. Uh, next team coming up is going to be team number 2877, Ligerbots. Ligerbots. So um, funny funny story. I, I don't know how deep I should go into this story with them, but... Um, and, we, until they're picked. <laughs> <laughs> we went out um, this year in our first event, and we had a ton of problems um, with all sorts of things, software and communication stuff. And... Um, we managed to kind of cling in, you know, on the rankings. And one of the reasons was uh, 20, we had a match with 2877 and they really just kind of hard carried us. I think we, we didn't even move or something like that in the match. And, uh, and Ligerbots fully carried us there. They were, they came out of the gate super, super strong this year. Um, they have a, I think it's like a slide H drive situation or, or something like that. Um, they were the best, in my opinion, the best team not picked at district champs this year. So hmm. Um, they can score a lot of points, um, put up a lot of game pieces. You know, they're they're able to do a 12 game piece, 13 game piece match, um, and they went unpicked at DCMP. I think a lot of people were a little nervous about the slide drive, and that's what kind of kept them off the off the limbs. So Sir Sauce takes them with uh, $40 uh, in the draft. Next one, I, I think Christine will be excited. I know this is definitely uh, – one of her uh, favorite teams. Uh, and uh, so, Brando, I don't know if you had an opportunity to uh, deal with a uh, 6328 Mechanical Advantage yet. Uh, yeah, so uh, we love Mechanical Advantage. Um, they're a, a fellow Massachusetts team that's kind of burning it up lately. And, um, and we managed to uh, win an event together this year. Um, I don't think if you ask the 6328 folks, uh, the win was how they would have would have liked it, you know, mm -hmm. if they were to draw it up from scratch. But um they're such a good team and they, they do so many things. 
Um, and the uh, the people, you see the numbers going up here. Yeah. That like these these people know what's going on because they built an off season robot that um, is really really good. And um, and so I'm not surprised to see the numbers getting up this high for them. Yeah, already up uh, to fifty dollars. Uh, looking to be uh, probably our second highest team. Uh, I think here so far. Yeah. yeah. As of right now. Yep. That's legit. I think did, did they win Battle Cry or they were in the finals yes. of Battle Cry? They won Battle Cry with twenty seven ninety one if I remember correctly. Yeah. And they also won Summer Heat. Yes. And they so, won Summer Heat. So yep. they're uh, they're hungry and that robot they built is uh, super good, so well, good enough to go for fifty-one dollars. Also, two blue banners uh, during the Europe districts as well, too. So pretty, pretty awesome. Fifty-one going to uh, Connor at Surf's Up takes his second team. We still have uh, one team. The Dream Team still has not taken any yet. Uh, everybody else has at least one team under their belt. Uh, next team coming up. So we do have a couple of teams that are the B team. So we'll let you know if it's the secondary team or the primary one. But this is going to be a primary one, and that's going to be team number nineteen sixty-five. Uh, 1965 is the Firebirds uh, coming out of uh, Alston. Alston? How's that going? Alston. Alston. Um, they are they're just a really um, – they do really creative stuff technically. They, um, I think it was 2016. They, they like, 3D printed um, tank treads, and, and they built that stuff. Um, they have really good mentor base, and they're a really active team. Um, so I think this year probably was a little disappointing for them, but the thing I'll say about 1965, and you mentioned they're bringing a, a second team, Tyler. Uh, yeah, um, they also have a B team. Yep. So I honestly, I don't, I have no inside knowledge on this one. I don't know what they're bringing, but knowing them, they, they are always improving. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them come out with their bot from last year, like <laughs> dialed in, fixed up and, uh, and the B robot also, you know, some kind of, new swerve or you know omni drive of some sort that they uh, they come in and and mess with so uh they're they're a team that i think could be surprising um nice. tw were we in 25 um, 20, yep being sold for 25 dollars with the dream team taking their first team there that feels that feels about right i mean i think you're betting a bit on uh on them improving from the season uh, that they had but in general, uh, that could be a, a good steal if they uh, if they do what they usually do and dial things in and come out swinging. Nice, uh, bra moment two fifty four in chat says that his intel, uh, his or her intel uh, says that sixteen seventy eight is going. Uh, so never know, we'll see. I mean, I I think I know, but <laughs> but we'll see uh, as it goes through. Uh, so well, I like I like this next team name by the way. Uh, I, I'm gonna guess that it's pronounce how i would imagine but we'll see as team number 24 23 is i'm going to assume that's the quarks uh, but that's a little, bit, a little bit differently yep and if you if you rewind the clock way back in time um we we helped start the quarks which is a, i think a bit how they got their name mm. uh like neutrons and quarks and etc um so they they had a really good season i think for them it, it was a good building year the robot that they built um it was a robot that was capable of playing the game completely. Um, so they could climb, they could, they could hatch, they could ball. Um, so I think, you know, I, I'm not sure what's happening again, no, no inside knowledge specifically, but I think they could show up again with some practice, uh, you know, get the robot dialed in a little bit. Um, and, and again, they could surprise people. You know, the off seasons are funny because sometimes it's a new driver. Sometimes the teams haven't touched the robot mm -hmm. in, you know, six months. Um, but I, I don't know. I got a feeling they, they may show up with something that's, uh, that impresses people. Well, the being, uh, being Giffen keeps changing his name just a little bit slightly each time, uh, takes it, uh, for $24. And that's the third team going to being Giffen here so far. Uh, we're almost at our halfway point at team number 11 to 26. Uh, so with that said, the next team we're going to bring up is team number 1768 Robo Chiefs, uh, out of Bolton. Yeah, the 1768, um, you know, again, if there's people nice watching that, yeah, they, they don't know New England teams well. Um, you got to look really close at 1768. Uh, they build some of the cleanest looking robots in New England. And, mm -hmm. they, you know, the last couple of years, I think, have been rough for them because 
they're they're building robots that should be dominating competitions and it's just like you know the last detail or two they've been unable to you know get over the hump or to come out of the gate really or fast they play 125 you know or they play us a lot but you know honestly <laughs> we're you know we don't look at them we're, we're scared to play 1768 yeah. and uh and at the greater Boston district this year, they, um, they we're really, solid. they were turning it on at the end and it was kind of, you know, nerve wracking, uh, in the finals because they, they were kind of coming, you know, up with a full head of steam and, and they kind of found themselves. So, uh, I, I expect them to, to do really, really well at Beantown. I, I would actually, you know, if I were to pick like, a uh, a team that maybe is like off the beaten path a little bit that's going to win. I would pick seventeen sixty eight. So. Well, they are. Uh, I think went for the second most now expensive at fifty eight dollars. Uh, nice little battle between Lath and uh, uh, Wean there. Uh, Wyan, Wyan. That's right. Sorry, I'm going to see. I got one in my head now. I'm going to keep seeing the other one. It's like Ryan with a W. Got it. Uh, <laughs> so, but a nice little battle going for fifty eight dollars. But yeah, you're. I mean, Brando, you're right, man. I mean, just looking uh, at their uh, their. Their competitions this year, finalists, finalists, semifinalists, out in the quarters uh, at DCMP, on the quarters at uh, uh, championships as well. So, uh, And then, man, out in the finals again at Mayhem Merrimack, huh? Just couldn't get that, couldn't get the blue banner or get the gold this year. So They're, they're you know, and they're fully aware of it too. They're, they have an awesome yeah. set of mentors and, and an awesome group of kids that, you know, they work super hard. So, um Keep working at it, guys. You're going to break through soon enough here. Well, it's coming to the time right in the middle of draft, why not, that our mystery team is going to be going up for bids here. Um, so uh, you guys can try to figure out who you think it is, but uh, this team, uh, as of right now, might not even be playing. Who knows? It'll be interesting to see. Uh, but our mystery team is going to go up on the draft, and you'll have to uh, watch Beantown Blitz and hope that uh, they are uh, they have arrived and they are going to play on here. I'm really curious to see how much our uh, draft teams yeah, are going to going to go for on this. <laughs> All right, look at this immediately. Five, wow, fifty five. Yeah, Connor, I mean, you're yeah, so I'm confident about that. I'm taking a risk, wow. and it's you it's are, bad. It's extremely confident about it i mean I, i'm just gonna tell you if they do show up that is that is value right there oh so. I, oh i i know but if they <laughs> don't know. show up then you just wasted 50 bucks for yeah, absolutely you nothing you just wasted a quarter of your draft hey but here's the thing though i also have to pick them later so oh my god everyone like has to pick them later yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that very 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 interesting it'll be cool to see uh hopefully these show up and hopefully it becomes a uh, great value uh it'll be interesting because i i will have to see how long we keep the pick em open because i could skew the pick em depending when that gets announced so we're gonna have to coordinate that a little bit brando to see uh All right. when, when that happens on there or not so uh no doubt can't wait to see sorry uh once again went for 55 dollars. sorry about that backup boy 55 bucks is what uh, i went for very quick very much just Connor just went 55 right away, and that's the way it went. So uh, we do have one of our uh, secondary teams coming up next. Uh, I'm trying to remember how I put that in here. Okay. Uh, it's going to be Team 88B, TJ 2.0 instead of TJ squared. I like that. It's pretty nice. Yeah. I, um, I'm i not sure what TJ has uh, in store here, uh, They if they're bringing their practice robot or yeah. if they're bringing a new robot. Um, either way, though, uh, I expect it to be a, a solid performing robot. They've they've brought a, a second robot a couple years in a row now, I think, to to be in town. And um, I think you know the the B team has actually outperformed the A team on a few occasions with the practice robot over the, the regular robot. Um, well, if you're being Griffin, you're gonna like that because he just took it for twenty five bucks straight with no other nobody else bidding on it. <laughs> if, I mean, if it's a duplicate, I mean, that is fantastic value. I mean, TJ yep. squared looked really good. But like, I mean, that's definitely a team that one, once again, with me paying attention kind of all over, uh, definitely popped up in our radar a couple times. And so uh, if they're, if their secondary teams, anything like their primary, I think it will be, uh, will be totally. a really good pick there. Yep. All right. So we're going to take a quick break and just check in with our team, see where they're at. Once again, less teams in this draft, uh, but we'll just do a quick check in. Uh, and we'll just ask that the uh, captain uh, speak up. Uh, and if somebody wants to chime in afterwards, that's fine. Uh, just on uh, how they're feeling with their money left. Uh, lots of money left in this draft still. Uh, Lathe is studying just one team, 181. Birds of Prey with 169 bucks left. You know what? We're liking 181. We also do want to get some more teams. Like how it would be at a competition, so. we have our pick list okay. as to who we want. So now it's just a matter of waiting for those teams to pop up on the draft so we can make our move. All right. Like confidence there. 
Nice, nice, nice. Strategy. Uh, uh, Strategy Wien, is key. <laughs> Wien and the silver medalist. You got three teams, 105 bucks left. 1768 Robo Cheese, 4048 Redshift, and 5846 South Coast Corsairs. Corsairs. Yeah, we got we got three really solid teams. Got half our money left, so we're we're feeling feeling pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good luck to you on that. Uh, poof, poofy jacket game gang. Uh, only a hundred and fifteen bucks left with one team, one ninety five. All right, so you got to tell us how you feel about that the price you paid. Are you are you happy with it? Uh, where do you where do you feel you light, uh, laid up on one ninety five? Oh, yeah. I think I muted you because you had a bunch of background noise. So we'll move on. Uh, next person, uh, Bean Griffin, uh, 82 bucks left with four teams in the draft, 88B, uh, TJ 2.0, 157 Aztecs, 190 Gumpi in the Herd, and 2423 Quarks. Uh, well, all right. That's Microphones are really great. All right, great. <laughs> next one, come up. A little more personality here, guys. Come on. Uh, next up, Surf's Up uh, with Connor. Uh, is that only 54 bucks left, Connor? Uh, mystery, That's right. Mystery Team, 2877 Liger Bots and 6328 Mechanical Advantage. Big hitters here. Yeah, so just like what Brando was saying with Liger Bots, like they were, they're a heavy hitter at District Champs. I'm surprised that they didn't get picked watching them through most of their qual matches. Um, if they're driving just like they did there, they're going to be flying all around the fields, um, sliding right over to the rocket, hatching that up. Uh, mechanical advantage, level one and level two only, but they have a level three suck climb, and mm. that robot has shown a lot of promise. It obviously doesn't reflect towards their in-season competition, but because it was a completely different robot, but I'm fairly confident with that. Same thing with uh, Mystery Team. I know if they show up, uh, I have a very good chance at winning this whole thing. Very cool. And uh, uh, Bailey uh, in chat says Connor has a super solid team uh, on so far. Uh, Dream Team, uh, just one team for you. Uh, with 175 bucks left, you got 1965 Firebirds. Yeah, we're excited to have the most amount of money. Obviously, we need to pick up a couple more teams, but yeah. we do have a few tri uh, tricks up our sleeves, so you guys better watch out for that. All right, lots of money uh, left to go in this draft. Uh, man, I got to do quick math here. How much money is actually left? That, are we over half yet? Somebody's got somebody's got to have like a spreadsheet on this stuff, right? We'll see. All right, somebody can figure it out and let me know. I Are, do. Hold up. Oh, hold on. I I'll just type it in real quick. I'm on the last one already. So, all right. So there's 1,200 bucks to start. We have 695 dollars left. So over half left in this draft. Let's keep moving on. Uh, next team coming up is 5563. Is that Phalanx? Phalanx. Yeah. Phalanx. All right. Um, they're so they're a team every year that finds their way they're kind of in that 58 46 mode where sure. they find their way onto uh onto a lot of really kind of heavy hitting alliances um it tends to be uh in kind of a specialist defensive bot role but i could totally see that happening here um at bean town obviously one day event you know anything can happen but mm -hmm. uh, if they have the experienced drive team there um i i could see them being kind of that defensive menace out there that uh that mix messes things up. So, and right now it looks like they're going to be selling for seventeen dollars. By the way, our high bid so far eighty five, low bid fourteen so far. Uh, but Phalanx going for seventeen dollars uh, in this draft. So that's going to uh, uh, Wyan and the Silver Medalist with their fourth team. Still have eighty eight bucks left, sucking up those teams nicely done. Uh, next team coming up here is team number two forty six, overclocked. Yeah, two forty six. Um, they they were a defense bot this year, and they were a defense bot last year, um, and they were menacing in their in their defense. So um, I fully expect them uh, to come out and and be a factor one way or the other. Um, I'd imagine that they've probably been working on some stuff, so they'd like to get the the full robot running. At one point in time, they had a, a lift on it. I don't know if it stayed on the whole season, but. Um, mm. One way or the other, I expect them to be a factor, whether it's they got the robot running or, or defense. Uh, so, uh, In chat, uh, CSS Hop says, Pig Big Cash. It's a powerful team. I'm guessing it's their team. But, uh, <laughs> but with that said, Big Cash going for $19 to overclocked. 19 Well, I mean, you know, we we saw how defense played a role this year, and um, 246 is is by far the, the defensive wizard uh, coming into Bean Town. So there you go. Uh, if, they, yeah. if they decide to play that role uh, – 17 bucks is that what someone got them for uh, 19, 19 bucks yep. 19. yeah that's um 19 bucks for the best defensive robot there 
that seems pretty solid. There you go. I like all these nice compliments you come up with here, Brando, by the way. So I appreciate the knowledge that you bring uh, with these teams. Sure. Uh, next team, uh, we saw their, their primary team go. How about the main team? 88 TJ squared. Man, this is a nice looking machine this year and uh, definitely performed pretty well as well too, Brando. Yeah, TJ's robot this year was awesome. I mean, for those who don't know Joe, um, Joe Johnson and, and the crew down there, they build, you know, Joe's just like a super creative guy. And the last couple of robots they've cranked out have been just awesome. And uh, this year was no different. Um, they had a really uh, kind of crazy uh, third level climb that they got running uh, right before DCMP and during DCMP. Um, and as, as a cargo uh, bot, they were coming out of the gate swinging. I think they lost in the finals week one and um, they were a factor at every single event this year. So they're going to be, you know, in it, uh, fully expect one of the TJs, if not both of them to be playing in the last match uh, of Beantown. So I think it'd always be great if they play each other. Right. That's, I think always, yeah, really, I mean, it's cool. When they play, it'd be cool. If they play together too, but I like the uh, playing against each other, uh, that matchup. So uh, TJ going for 46 in the draft. I actually think that's uh, yeah, it's pretty decent value uh, compared to maybe a couple of the others that are uh, a little bit more up there. For sure. Uh, next team coming up is uh, one of our, our other uh, secondary team that we have, and that is going to be uh, team number 1965B, Firebirds B. By the way, the team numbers are going to be probably a little bit different once they get put in the FMS, but we'll make sure we adjust for that. Uh, but 1965 uh, Firebirds B uh, coming up uh, in this draft. So I, I have absolutely no idea what they're bringing uh, as a as the B robot. I'm super curious because they do really cool stuff. And uh, if this is like an off season project type robot, mm -hmm. I bet it's gonna be something cool. Um, so no idea. Cool doesn't uh, mean good necessarily, though. Yep, but I mean, so this is I I don't I'm not bidding here. So you know, personally, my yeah. my interest in B being uh, cool is is purely in what they come up with technically. So yeah, that could be a, a good point. Um, we'll see how effective a, a potentially brand new robot is that's doing something uh, unique or different. Well, up to sixteen dollars already for Poofy Jacket Gang, who I think is probably looking to get at least another team as part of the repertoire. Uh, coming up with one second left and sold sixteen dollars for nineteen sixty-five Firebirds B. We're going to keep moving on here. Here's another team uh, that uh, I think will go for a. a Pretty penny overall. Uh, you know, this year, uh, looking at their team, you know, three blue banners ain't nothing to, to really snark about too much, right? But I, no, I'm kidding. The three blue banners, fantastic year uh, by this team. 67, 16, and 1. Please welcome 56, 87, the Outliers, a team that just seems to be pouring on every single year, Brando. Yeah, they're, um, I think it's now six straight um, New England district events that they've won. Um which is pretty awesome. Uh, New England, super competitive. They're they're playing at competitive events, um, and we're we're obviously super close to them yeah. um, as a team. Uh, the robot this year was just awesome. Uh, we won uh, the Greater Boston District together, and um, you know we we struggled earlier in that event. We just had a couple little issues that had to get worked out in the first three or four call matches, and. Um, you know how reputation stick with you through an event and stuff like that. So 5687 kind of rolled the dice a little bit make, to make sure that we weren't going to have any issues. And um, they had their own struggles, you know, through uh, through limbs and all that. So we, we just complimented each other really well. Mm -hmm. uh, they're really strong under defense. Um, just a really quick scoring robot. Uh, they they think outside the box a bit. Uh, they have that, that rear bumper structure that's round so that they can kind of spin out of uh, pins and stuff like that. So they're a really smart team. Uh, fully expect them to be a, a major factor. Yeah, and going for our second most amount here, sixty-nine dollars. Uh, Dream Team uh, jumped from fifty-seven to sixty-nine in their in their pick. So Defendly taking that. That is their second robot uh, that they have here so far. But I, yeah, I'm looking for big things from the Outliers. I think they're a very solid robot, and can't wait to see how they uh, perform here. But Dream Team takes their second team there with the Outliers. Uh, let's keep the money rolling here. Why not? Uh, let's bring up uh, a team that. Uh, what, five blue banners this year? That sound right? I think so. Uh, team number yeah. 125, Neutrons. Brando, let's hear all about the Neutrons. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'll give you guys a bit of a, an inside scoop. You know, there's uh, there's not any real major modifications to our robot. Um, we competed in zero off-seasons far, thus far this yeah, year. Wow. Um, we 
we usually are all over the off-season map. We love to do um, Battle Cry or IRI or both. Um, but this year, just we um, we had to really focus on on kind of infrastructure stuff on the team, and so we, we kind of put the off-seasons off till now. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, we've dusted the robot off. It uh, it functions. Uh, everything's back to you know where it was when we put it. Uh, in the in the trailer at Champs, um, and we ended Champs on a really high note, um, really kind of uh, rough loss to the eventual World Champs. Um, we we ended up losing one of our uh, court or semifinal matches to them uh, by one point. I think yeah. it was one hundred three to one hundred two. One hundred two to one hundred one. Yeah. Sorry, there it is. And um, and our third bot was down uh, that match. So, uh, you know, the we have a little unfinished business. I know the the kids have been working hard to you know, kind of get back into the, the swing of things. So uh, we'll see how we do. I'll have nothing to do with the team uh, as I'm running the event. So yeah. uh, they're on their own. Who's coaching? Uh, we'll usually have uh, one of the other mentors to kind of fill in coach because I also don't coach uh, when we host the Boston district event. So sure. Makes sense. he's got some experience. $70, by the way, second most amount. Uh, Outlier third most amount with 69. So right up there. Uh, next team coming up is 1761 Steampunk Tigers. Steampunk Tigers, you know, I think they're, you know, they're a team probably a lot of folks haven't heard of um, outside of the New England bubble. Um, I'm not sure what, you know, how they felt about their season. They, they always build, you know, a complete robot. They, um, they're in the mix, you know, off and on year to year. Uh, so it, you know, it really depends. This is kind of like how what do you think they're going to do as far as preparation? Are they, are they improving the bot and trying to, you know, take a step forward or are they kind of coming with the, with what they had during the season? And Lost to you the, guys in the semis at uh, greater Boston district, by the way. They did. They, they improved a lot be between uh, North shore, which I think their first event and then Boston, they, they ended up, I think not making the limbs. And then they were, I think a first pick. Yeah. Um, so I almost confused solid. it with 1796 there for a moment with Robo Tigers. I was like, wait a second. Oh yeah, <laughs> that would be Steampunk. that'd be going for a lot more money. Uh, yeah, but 25 yeah. bucks still for Steampunk Tigers, not too bad. And if 1796 is listening, we miss you, buddies. You, you, we need you to come up to Blitz. So. There you go. <laughs> True. Uh, by the way, uh, being Griffin, only 11 bucks left, but has now uh, six teams. Not too bad when there's only 26 to twos from. Uh, on here. So next team coming up is team number 1153 Revolution. 1153. Um, they, they to me were like the ideal third robot for us at, at DCMP. They um, super consistent level three climber, um, nasty defense uh, when they wanted to play defense, could put up a ton of points, a uh, ton of cargo in. So um, they're they're just a really really solid robot. Um, we were able to double climb with them uh, pretty easily. Um, so I don't know if they're out there. I I fully expect us to go for the double climb with them. Yeah, again. I mean they're up to thirty nine bucks already. So obviously, uh, Surf's up and Lath uh, know a little bit of something about what's going on with this team. Yeah, these uh, there's some good New England representation in these teams. I think because uh, eleven fifty three probably doesn't quite have the uh the reputation they deserve as far as like people you know being being a household name but mm -hmm. they're you know they're consistently if they're at a competition they're in the mix uh a hundred percent and this year i think was one of their best robots in years so and they get sold connor 46 dollars that leaves them eight bucks left i'm, I'm gonna guess that probably is all the yeah that gonna get. <laughs> but yeah yeah anyway, so. Connor, uh, what, what did you what did you see in Revolution, Connor? Why'd you bid so much uh, for this team? So they're very good. Um, so I, mean, I believe, yeah, they have a level three climb. They're very good at level uh, one cargo and hatch. Um, they, I, oh, I saw them. I believe, I believe they're at Greater Boston. Where they? I can't remember. Um, Southeast Mass is where I saw them. Yes, um, I saw them at Southeast Mass where I was there visiting a few teams. Saw them at Week Zero. Um, they had a pretty, they had a good year, um, within the past. Yeah. This was a good year for them. Sure. Um, better um, than previous years, but definitely 
definitely promising. There you go. Uh, definitely. Uh, and also some shout outs. We'll, we'll make a, a we'll read at the end of the stream, but definitely thanks everybody earlier uh, for had a bunch of subscriptions coming in, a bunch of subs coming in. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, so thank you so much for keeping fun. A lot of live independence. We can make shows like this. I mean, sometimes, you know, we can just do kind of these offshoot kind of shows, especially during uh, off season. We'd love to do stuff like this. Have you guys uh, join us, play along, uh, just kind of watch how everybody's doing. So thank you everybody for your uh, subs uh, so far uh, today. Uh, only a few teams left as we come through. Uh, lots of money left. Late the stunning sells one hundred sixty nine dollars. Dream Team one hundred six, and there's only five teams left. So we're gonna see what these go for. Uh, but your next team uh, with a record of eight sixteen and oh, it's gonna be fifty four ninety four. The Zarbots for Robotics. The Zarbots, pretty, um, pretty cool team. Um, we love playing with them because they they do understand uh kind of that that deep level strategy side of things sure. um so um i i don't i don't know if we played with them this year um i'm trying to remember their robot um but you know i they're just a team that not. i think yeah we we didn't and i don't think i i personally went to any of the events that they were at but um you know, they're, they're a team that's, I give any team that's out in the fall, you know, running the robot again and, and getting things off credit. So uh, who knows? I mean, it, it really comes down to preparation. And what it comes down uh, to here in the draft, by the way, is uh, $14, which for, I think for any team, especially this late when there's this much money left, I think is very good value. Uh, yeah, I, I'm curious uh, what the late strategy is. <laughs> <laughs> well, late won last time, you know, they won Chessy Champs. So you got to okay, give some correct. credit that they know what's going on. All right. I give you Maybe they're just going to sweep in and take everything. I mean, well, Dream Team still got 106. I think we're going to see a lot of money uh, left on the table uh, in this draft. So be interesting, interesting, interesting to see. Uh, but how about a team that's 39, 31, and 0 in official play? Has a couple off seasons under their belt, as well as team number 172, Northern Force. So this is something, you know, I wish I had like a metric I could look up, but every match that i i like remember going wow that was a pretty solid upset like just a solid alliance uh taking down you know a really strong team or a couple strong teams it seemed like 172 was like in that mix um they were just a team that like complemented an alliance so well mm -hmm. uh, they had a good climb um they were able to consistently score points and they kind of did it off the radar a little bit which i think you know uh it's just a kind of great great alliance partner there so uh, um, Wyan, I just want to say, I actually think you just got the seal of the draft, not because of the amount you paid, but to just go 55 right away. I think you threw some people off, uh, and you got it. You used up all your money and got that extra team. I think that's a fantastic bid that you had there. Very nicely done. Thank you very much. Uh, so how, and how many, is that seven teams for you? Three, four, seven teams. Nice. Holy crap. Well, three teams left. Uh, yeah, that's I, not a bad roster. No, definitely not. We'll, and we'll discuss a little bit uh, once we're done with all the teams, but only three left here. Uh, and I know people might be waiting for 78. There's a one in three chance, and it's not this one. Uh, but it's going to be team number 6201, the Highlanders, out of Somerville, I'm guessing? Yeah, you got so, it. Somerville. Somerville. Nice. Nailing it. Um, 6201, I love the robot this year. Um, really straightforward, really simple. Um, I like the team a lot too. Um, this is, has nothing to do with Blitz, um, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, they built a s'mores making robot for the Fluffernutter Festival um, that the happened festival? a couple of weeks ago. The Fluffernutter Festival? Sure. Um, <laughs> so, Fluffernutter Festival, uh, Fluffernutter, I guess, was invented in Massachusetts along with a lot of other things. Um, and they have a festival every year. And 6201 built a s'mores making robot um to like crank out s'mores and uh just absolute genius uh idea so is, is, i've uh what I've, is fluff or not? is it like french toast with s'mores or something like that or what no, no like you know like fluff marshmallow fluff I'm sure it's like they just they make the s'mores with a fluff instead of like a toasted marshmallow oh. so you don't have to all, go all the that. pictures i see are like with texas toast bread like instead of That's, graham crackers yeah, that's that seems wrong. I mean, I don't know. There's... <laughs> Man, traditional fluff and utter is like a PB and J, but take out the J and add fluff. 
Yeah, what but is it's a fluffer for... nutter. I but... just explained it. It's, it's like, it's I like... literally just explained it. <laughs> but like, what? You just I'm add not, more fluff I, like I'm a PBHF? Not gonna, I'm not going to explain it again. You can go back when this is archived on YouTube. Wow. Nice plug Wait, right God, there. Why don't you just that's, make it in two weeks? It's a great plug. So, <laughs> How have I not um, had a PB and fluff? I don't know. I'm from Wisconsin. Apparently, yeah. that's not a big thing in Wisconsin. You know, we have things like the outdoors and campfires where we can make real s'mores. I don't know. So... So fingers crossed, the s'mores robot is at uh, Blitz. <laughs> right. That'd be pretty cool. All so right, that'd can't be wait. Awesome. Same. Uh, by the way, going for thirty dollars late, taking the second team there, uh, almost going to Poofy Jacket uh, for twenty nine. That would have been a nice pickup as well too, Poofy, but uh, not taking it. Uh, but with that said, uh, late hundred thirty nine, Dream Team one hundred six. Uh, who's up next with that? And then Poofy with twenty nine. So these last two teams. Uh, We'll see how they go or how much they go for. It might be uh, some overvaluedness going here with only two teams left. Uh, and you got your choice between either 78 or 1100. And it's going to be 78 uh, coming up. Hey. 78. I how think much, I know these guys. How much money are you going to spend on this yeah, let's Blue Banner team? So all of it. All the money. Um, nice. Uh, yeah, this is nice. I like this. Bidding war. Wow. Up to 75 uh, already. Lays outbidding yeah. themselves. All right. Oh, nah. <laughs> Might as well empty themselves. the coffers here. <laughs> 81. We'll uh, watch this a little bit. This could be the most expensive team. 85 is the most. So 106. Wow, here <laughs> we go. Ah, Bid yeah. cannot be beaten. Um, there it is. Here you go. 107. Well, you know, might not be a great value for the pick em, Uh, but Lath gets uh, their third team with 78. Uh, yes, Airstrike, man, what a great season uh, this year. 67, 18, 1. This, I think, is this her first off season, though? Yes, this okay. is our first off season. Yeah. So I think, I think, like, you know, like a lot of people do these, like, you know, case studies and, and give, like, presentations on effective robot strategies. I think, like, a lot of people kind of over 70 because they just have the, like, out of the gate uh, thing, like, totally nailed. Like they come out week one and week two every year signing up, you know, to go back to back and they like destroy both events um, without question. So um, definitely look at 78, especially as we enter the world of, of unbag. I think there's a lot, a lot of teams could learn from them. So 78 also set the uh, record for district points in New England this year, beating out the old one by Wyndham Windup from 2014 by two points. Nice. Yep. There it is. So wait, they set the record for district. Oh, in in one event. No, no uh, throughout, throughout the whole season uh, before district champs. Okay, that makes more sense. So. Yes. Okay. Very cool. Awesome. All right. Last team of the draft. Eleven hundred T Hawks. Yeah. I wonder how much they're going to go for. <laughs> well, you get the choice, Dream Team. Do you want to spend thirty-three or do you want to spend all the money on it? Um, Lath, I like the. Uh, like the thing there. All right, 30, nice. 33 bucks. All right. Appreciate you All not right. doing the overinflated bid uh, on that. So other teams can pick them as well. So $33 going to the Dream Team with their third team. Uh, let's do a, a, a... By the way, great value on, on 1100 there. 32 yeah. bucks. Uh, they they were an awesome robot this year, and um, I fully expect them to be really solid at Beantown. So 33 uh, solid value. So, Brandon, I want to get your just kind of overall thought. This is your first time participating in the draft uh, here. Uh, what what was your thought? What team – was there any teams you're like, hey, like I thought they were the steal of the, steal of the draft or anything like that at all? You know, I think um, 1153, um, awesome uh, pickup by Connor's team. Uh, 1100, and I know that, like, you know, you're at the end, so the money is, is running out. But during the pick them, $33, 1100 seems really solid. Um yeah, I, I'm looking at all the teams. If I if I were to take a, a guess, um, you know, Poofy Jacket Gang uh, is kind of all in on on a couple teams, um, but 195, I I just like I, I'm certain that they're going to be in the finals. So there's kind of a lock right there, um, and I don't know about us. So, I, and I I do wonder what the strategy was with Leith. Um, You know, how are you guys feeling about that? It's a good segue I mean, into Lath. <laughs> I mean, listen, we we're looking at it and we're we're satisfied with what we got. We got one of our favorite teams, not to be biased, but we got <laughs> we got Airstrike. I'm satisfied. 
Um, but at the end of the day, we have high hopes for the teams that we got. We also got 181 to, to represent Alron. Yes. There we go. All right, we'll, oh, yeah. just, we'll just keep moving on then uh, into uh, wine and the silver medalists. So 172, 246, 1768, 4048, 5494, 5360, 5846. Lots of teams. Yeah, we, we got more teams than we were expecting. We were not expecting to be able to get 172 at the end there, so that was pretty sick. But we're, we're really happy. We're, we're feeling pretty good. Yeah. As you should be uh, with the most most teams, right? Yeah, most teams in the side uh, draft. Lion definitely is going to have like like several of those teams are going to be playing some hardcore defense, and uh, I think there's like a, a couple of those teams are probably locks to make the finals. So that could be interesting. Yeah, I think where the value is there is looking at um, one where they get picked in the alliance selection because you're getting points depending where they fall in that draft. But then hoping that a couple of those teams maybe of the lower tier teams are uh, the third robot uh, that just plays in the finals and you're getting five points per match. That is that that's really where the value is going to come out uh, for something like that. So kind of playing the, the spread shot game there. Yeah. in 1768, that's my, uh, that's my kind of dark horse pick to win. So there you they've go. got that. Uh, Poofy jacket gang. Uh, hopefully your uh, backer will check in with you. Uh, 125, 195 and the uh, 1965 B team. Yeah, I'm pretty great. I'm pretty happy about this I chose. I already saw 195s at like for defense as well. They're pretty good. And for 125 as a like as an average score, it's going to be pretty great. And 1965, like from the scatters I have, they said that they're pretty good. Their driver quality is actually probably better than 1965, like their A team. So I'm I'm pretty happy with what I got. Very cool. Uh, and it looks like we might have the, uh, I don't know, somebody said they were in the fun chat from your team as well. Is that right? Chris, are you there? Yes, that's me. So looking back for a 195, they are a very versatile robot that can play both defense and incredible uh, cargo. So, but for the price we've got for $85 is a little bit high, but we're still very satisfied for having essentially almost two locks for a uh, bean blitz. So. Brando, I gotta ask you, if 195 we're gonna be playing defense at Bean Tom Blitz, I don't uh, see that. No, I was just gonna say that. Um they are a nasty defender, um, but they are certainly not gonna be playing. When there's a third liquid. robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, that, that happens at IRI and, and nowhere else. Yeah, I agree with that. But still uh Poofy Jacket, a couple big teams uh in your uh, lineup, so we'll see how that works out for you. Uh Bean Griffin eighty eight uh, and eighty eight B. Uh, 157, 190, 1761, and 24, Um, we'll, we'll just kind of give a, I don't know if they're in here or not, but we'll just kind of uh, give an overlay. Um, I really do like 88. I think that's a great pickup by them. I also think 190 uh, is going to look uh, well for them as well. Brando, anything from you? Yeah, I think 157, they're going to be climbing every match. I think there's a good chance that they, they seed, you know, top eight, top 10, um, just based on the con super consistent climb. Um, and then 1761, 24, 23, um, you know, either one of them I could see being a, a com complimentary robot on a finalist or winning alliance. So uh, but potentially a strong team from Bean. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, next up, Sir Sub Connor, first draft for you, eight bucks left, 1153 Revolution, the mystery team. 2877 Liger bots and 6328. Remind me not to pick yellow 14 because I can't read that text. <laughs> yeah, so I'm feeling really good with uh, with 1153. I mean, they're keeping it very simple, very low. They can climb. They're very good at the level one. And to shake it up, they'll probably, in my opinion, they'll probably be a second pick playing defense, and they could they could go far. In the limbs, uh, we have our mystery team. Uh, if they make it, um, I would not be surprised if this team goes undefeated throughout the entire event. Uh, Ligerbots, uh, very quick on the field play putting game pieces up and mechanical advantage. They have a new robot they built in about four weeks. It's already, it's competition proven. They're running, I believe, possibly their new competition drive train if, or drive team if Dave Powers is in chat. Um, but, and they've got a really awesome suction climb, which might be good for them for, um, dub, they might be do double level three hab climb, which can, I don't know, maybe get the more points and better, win easier, I guess. I don't know. 
All right. But yeah, yeah, that's what I got. You got it, man. Good luck to you. Uh, Dream Team rounding it up with 1100, 1965, and 5687. Yeah, uh, we ended up a little, a little bit more money than we were hoping. We made some mistakes drafting, but we have some strong teams. I'm happy about who we were able to pick up, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's a little bit tougher with uh, only 26 teams. It definitely uh, changes the dynamic of the game a little bit for that, but we'll still see how it works out to you. Good luck uh, to all the teams. We will have to pick them up uh, tonight, I think, most likely, probably in about an hour or so. Uh, so check out our Discord for that. Once again, discord.gg forward slash first updates now uh, to participate in the pick -em. Everybody can participate, even the teams that draft here today. Make your own lineups. You can also pick. You can make as many lineups as you want to. We don't really care. Uh, we do have uh, live uh, results that will come. It will just pull from the API. Uh, so you can watch all weekend with Beantown Blitz. Uh, and see how your teams are doing so far. And don't forget, check out Beantown Blitz. We'll be on First Updates Now Twitch channel. Uh, and we also do have as well, too, uh, check out Duel in the Delaware, which will be on uh, Fun's YouTube channel. Uh, Brando, before we uh, hop off, anything about Beantown Blitz you want to wrap up with? No, I mean, uh, definitely check out the streams for, uh, for Beantown, um, for teams and people that are going to be coming. Uh, you know, hope you guys have a good time. Uh, Beantown's all about just having fun, yeah. and um, and that's what we'll be doing. Tons of, um, and uh, and if you're around uh, during lunch, uh, especially we'll keep it on the stream too. Uh, we love to do a little round of mentor matches, which uh, tend to be extremely entertaining. So uh, definitely check that out. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks again, everybody, uh, for tuning in. Do you want to give a quick shout out? We had a few people uh, subscribe today. So let's uh, uh, shout out who's subscribed since our last stream. Dusty Chicken 11 with uh, two months of tier one. Red Leader 342, four months with Prime. Uh, David uh, Diggs with some bits there. Conal King 865, 10 months support. PJ coming in 23 months. Congrats on uh, passing your test, I think is what you put in there. Uh, that software dude, uh, 14 months of support. And RCAP, 51, 12 months of support. Uh, and Connor with 29 bits right there at the end. Thanks, Connor. Uh, our cap, yeah. by the way, stating in the sub, uh, bow to E to W. So awesome. Uh, so one more, note for you. one more note for you, Tyler. Yeah. Uh, pasta and pesta will be on site. Oh. I can confirm. So, yes. Uh, All right. Awesome. 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 Can't wait to see uh, dogs. I I'm hoping I'd see them on stream. So we'll see uh, with that. Thanks again, everybody. We uh, we're going to sign off for tonight and can't wait to uh, see these awesome events this weekend. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live and independent.